pull the toys out, huh? Don't make me pull the toys and fire up the engines, huh? And then they make noise. Can we get much higher? What's up, y'all? It's your boy J Ron 447 back at it again with some NCAA basketball 10. And yeah, this is our third. This is not our third Welcome game, but it's the third episode. In this game, we're going to be versing Old Dominion, which is a great college for college basketball. And we just reached conference play, and we're going to have to keep our eye on number 23. Of course, he's got the 23 on because, you know, he's trying to be like Jordan. But, yeah, we're going to have to keep an eye on him. As you can see, we got the same thing going on. Even though Steve Miller, he is shorter, I still like him as a shooting guard. Only because he can knock down that three. So, yeah, this is what we're basically... We're going to basically try to get up a lot of a shot. Get up a lot of a... Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of shots because that's what we want to try to do. So, we can win this game. As you can see, David Irons, big man in the middle. He's going to have to control the paint, even though he's not as big as a lot of other centers. But he gets the ball first. He tries to back him down. Horrible pass. Teron Bowie gets it. Makes the jump shot, which is amazing. Teron Bowie is an amazing athlete. And Jamon Combs makes a nice three-pointer. And Teron Bowie's taking it to the distance, but gives it to Jamal Combs. Jamal Combs dribbling around. See his options. He gives it to Stephen Mejia. Stephen Mejia knocks down the easy jump shot. And he misses the J, but guess what? Oh my God, monster dunk by number 21. That's an amazing dunk. But it's the score is 7-7 tie with 10 minutes, close to 10 minutes left. And look who knocks down the three, Stevie Mejia. And Teron Bui passes it in transition. Oh my goodness, David Arm gets blocked. That's what Teron Bui gets it back. Misses the three. Oh God, that was a horrible sequence of plays, a horrible shot. But yeah, Jamal Coons is going to the line. He's going to be going to the line a lot of his game. And 21 picks up his first foul of the game. So yeah. So that's his averages, 10.3 points a game. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. And he makes the first free throw. And yeah, he's living up to his height. Jamal Coons. Yeah. 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 As you can see, Stephen May here pulls up for the three, and he makes it in his face. And the three-point shooting is just getting out of hand. I mean, Jamal Coons is getting in me. He's not really a three-point shooter. Look at Stevie. Stevie in the corner. Yeah, it's Ron Bowie bringing it up. He knows who to give it to. Stevie, Stephen McConey. And guess who gets it? Shaquille Stokes. Shaquille Stokes passes it out, gives it to Hall. Hall, Hall with this the is nice really persistence to, to get the I'm layup and those are the stages. And you see we're one and two in the conference, but it's alright because we can easily turn this around and have a good Stokes season. So yes, yeah, Shaquille Stokes gets it in the corner misses. and misses the, the three, but guess who gets it? Stephen McConey, and he makes the shot. So Teron Bowie's beating it back up, and he gives it to Shaquille Stokes for a three. He finally catches it. He scores 23-14, and guess who makes another three? Stevie Mejia. And it's just a three-point show. It's a three-point show. I mean, they can't be stopped right now. Hofstra can't be stopped. And look at Jimmy Hall putting on the moves as he makes the J. As he makes the J. And oh my gosh, Jimmy Hall gets a nice fake pass to Steve Mejia, which creates a jump shot. And yes, Hofstra is winning 29-19. And Steve Mejia stops and pops. Mm, this is just putting into the Stevie Mejia show. And look who gives it back, Steve Mejia. He gives it to David Himes. David Himes gets trapped, gives it to Stevie. And you know what he going to do? He going to make that three. 18 points already. Come on. Look at it. Jamal Coons with the ball. He takes a strong to the rack. Gets an easy layup. Right on the there. left side. And it's still the first Second half. Jamal Coons gets it. He gets fouled. And he's going to the line to get number 21. 12, actually, this picks up his first foul of the game. And hopefully, hopefully he doesn't get into a lot of foul trouble. As you can see, some subs check in. No, Jamal Coons majoring in marketing. He's a power forward slash small forward, you can say. He's 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 got he's mobile. Very mobile on his feet. And my brother is just watching me in the video. <laughs> Man, why you gotta do this, man? Jump I'm trying shot. to make a video nice you laughing and stuff. At Teron Bowie makes Pushes the jump it. shot. Teron Bowie's bringing it up. 
He passed to Steve Mejia. Steve Mejia makes another trade. Oh, gosh, he missed that one. What a horrible sequence, but he, they're pushing up the court. And that ends the half, first half. Hofstra 38, ODU 25. Hofstra is losing the rebound battle, but yet they could still win this game because they're in a commanding lead. You can see some of the highlights of the first half. And yeah, this is this is going to be cracking up to be a good game. I mean, Hofstra shooting over 50% from the three, which is amazing. Like, that's just so amazing. Like, they really, they're doing really good. They're putting up a lot of shots. And that's what they have to do to win this game. So, yeah. And you can see Old Dominion starts off with the ball. And their leading scorer is their point guard. Uh, the right he's having a Here good game, go but oh, he gets stolen. Wakoni with the nice. The oh, but He'll he misses that. I don't know how he missed uh, he that, but hey, it's wrong. We with the nice layup in transition, and look who's got the ball in transition. Oh goodness! It, oh, he missed it though. But he tries to get the steal. He gets it. Oh, no, he doesn't get the steal. But hey, nice hustle though. But, oh, look at the passes, but he misses the layup. Oh my gosh, they're missing too many shots. So Steve Mejia, you can count on him to make shots. Oh yeah. Oh, he gets stuffed, but it's gonna count. The basket counts. And Shaquille Stokes and Jimmy Hall come into the game. And this might actually help me because I like Jimmy Hall. He's a nice swing. He's a nice wing player. And as you can see, Shaquille Stokes with the three, but he missed the three. And wow, the three balls aren't going in, in like first half, but you know, David Ons gets the ball inside to make a hoop, and so does Teron Boyd with the three, or was that a two? I don't know, his foot must have been on the line. Even though Marissa Cone gets the ball, gets a nice layup, that's really nice. Marissa Cone gets it again, he misses it though. He gets a steal, but gives it to Kendra Washington, he gets a layup. And Marshall Cohn gives it to Jimmy Hall, and Jimmy Hall with a three-pointer. And oh my gosh, they're getting their mojo back. Where's my mojo, they're saying, on the court. And oh my gosh, even we here, not another J. Yes, another J. And it is just unbelievable out here for Steven Mejia. And he gives it to Marshall Cohn, and Marshall Cohn gives it back to Jordan Allen. Jordan Allen giving... A pass back to Kentro Washington. Kentro Washington gives it to Wakoni. Wakoni gets a jumper and nice passes in that sequence. And as Wakoni takes it strong to the right for another layup. And that is really good. That's bounce scoring. And oh my gosh, a fight for the ball. And Mouse Cone goes for with the dunk. Oh my goodness. Mouse Cone goes to the line. He had he he has a nice field um free throw percentage and he makes the first one. So yeah, he's pretty good at the line. Really, he's really good at the line, and he makes the second one. Really good by Mouse Combs. Yeah, Combs, he's having a good game. Gets the ball to Ron Boo. He's a nice distributor. Yeah, he's gonna have to learn to score next year. So yeah, he gets the ball, gives it back to Imes, and Imes shoots the J and makes the long range J. And uh oh, he gets it. Oh, what the nice spin move and one for Jamal Combs. That was just. Oh my gosh, he did it on him. Look at the spin move one more time for your folks. Oh lord, that was a nice spin move. And Hofstra's running away with this game. Nine points, five rebounds, having a great game right now. Maybe he can go to the NBA with those stats. And he gets another. Jamal Combs having a great game. He's pushing it up, but he passes it to who? Shaquille Stokes for three. Swapping that net. Oh my goodness. And it's a three ball show. And look at Mouse Kone with another shot. Wow. Mouse Kone, he's developing into a good big man. But yeah, they get the ball. He sets a horrible pick. Well, the pick kind of gets him caught up. But yeah, they miss the three. And this game is essentially over. But guess what? Jamal Coombs is going to dunk it, though. Because that is just how the game is. That's how the game is. Really. That's how the game was. And Hofstra wins easily by 28 points, 80 to 52. And yeah, Teron Boone, he had a good game, 8 assists, 10 points. Now the third point guard, you know, he had 22 points, but he wasn't distributing very well. But yeah, Hofstra wins this game. Everybody was getting even scoring. Oh, it was a good game for everybody, a great game for everybody. And yeah, this is what I like to see. This is what you guys would like to see. And more NCAA vids coming up, um, football and basketball. Yeah, I have a big surprise for football. We're jumping straight to the playoffs. But anyway, this has been a J-Rob 447 commentary. As you can see, you can see all the stats and stuff. 
But yeah, this has been the J Raw 447 commentary of NCAA Basketball 10. Hopefully, check out my Need for Speed vids, my all my other vids. Just see them, cause everybody likes variety. So see me here. I had 23 points. Everybody, check out my channel. Subscribe, like, rate, do whatever you want to, and peace.